guys, welcome back to my channel. I have something really exciting for you today. This is Sabrina. Sabrina is a really good friend of mine and she's also an essential oil expert. She was talking to me about some of the at-home products that she makes, like, like bath salts and body scrubs and lip glosses and all sorts of stuff. I mean, she is just knowledgeable in this area. Thank you. So <laughs> I, I had her come onto my channel and do some videos to show us how to make these things at home. And we thought it would be a really good idea to do this right before the holidays because a lot of people really enjoy homemade gifts. It's just really sentimental. It means a lot to people when they receive something that somebody else makes. And it's just also really, really cost effective and efficient on the wallet. So <laughs> and yeah, healthy. and it's also really healthy for you too. So anyway, welcome Sabrina. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> this is fun. This is my very first time on YouTube. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, she will definitely be back to show us some other things. So, Sabrina, what will you be showing us how to make in this video today? I'll be showing you how to make do-it-your-own bath salts. All right, guys, let's get started. Hi. Today we're going to make a do-it-your-own bath salt. It's really easy. Don't be afraid. We have three main ingredients. We have Epsom salts, baking soda, and we have some essential oil for scent. So here we go. Take, a, take something that you can pour from once you've mixed the salt. Put your Epsom salts in like this. And then put your baking soda in like this. And stir. Now see, it's simple as that. People go, oh, I can't make anything like this. It's too hard. It's very simple, actually. Epsom salts are very, very good for your body because they have magnesium in them. Most people are deficient in magnesium. That's why you feel so relaxed and you sleep better. It also pulls out toxins out of your body. The baking soda, again, helps neutralize toxins and it actually will help your water. If anybody who's in the city, you have chlorine in your water. The baking soda actually will help take and neutralize the chlorine. So you're kind of doing a two-step good thing for your body. Now we're ready to add some essential oil. This is peppermint, and I personally use Toterra because it's certified pure and therapeutic grade. It smells wonderful. I would only add like one or two drops and mix because it's so concentrated. You really don't have to add a lot. So here we are. All we have to do now is put it in the container. You can use any container that's glass. I, I don't say put it in plastic because the oils can actually um, damage the plastic and you don't want any more toxins in your body. So this just happens to be a one cup candy jar. You can do all kinds of embellishments if you'd like. In the past when I've made these for people, I've put fabric on them, I've put little ribbons, um, I've written on them. You can pretty much embellish it however you want. It makes a great teacher gift. Just put the ingredients on there and handmade by. And then this is something that your children in school could do. And then they feel like they're making Christmas presents. Grandma would love it too. You know what? And so would mom, except it's hard to make it in front of mom. So you're going to have to get dad to help with this project too. So I pre-cut a piece of fabric just so I show you how you can do it. Sometimes I'll pink the edges. I didn't have my pinking shears with me. So you just put this on like this. Put your fabric on the top. You could put a ribbon on it if you'd like. I mean, I have several other different kinds of fabric. It's holiday season, so you might want to use a red or something with wreaths or little Santas on it. Who doesn't have a little bit of fabric around this? This is the coolest thing. I've got it at uh, Michael's on sale. It writes on glass and it's oil based so it, it won't come off and you don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going to put bath salts. This probably would look better with a gold but this is how easy it is. Go home and try it. So we really hope you enjoyed the video and if you do decide to try out this recipe definitely let us know. Leave a comment, like this video. I am going to be leaving Sabrina's website information in the description box below and also links where you can purchase some of these products. And thanks again for... It was fun. Yeah, listening to Sabrina's wisdom. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!